Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you 10 $5 dinner ideas. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kristen. Now if you've noticed, prices have gone up with food. So I've made a few $5 dinner ideas in the past, but because prices have changed, I thought I'd make a brand new video and try and fit recipes in to $5. So I'm jumping into the car and I'm headed to good old Walmart. Now please notice that I live in Utah and my prices might be a little bit different than yours, but for the most part, they'll be close to $5. All right guys, if you're ready, let's just jump right in. So the first recipe I'm making is cinnamon roll French bread bake. Now the ingredients we need for this is our French bread, which is $1. Our milk, we're gonna use not all of the milk, so it will be about 86 cents. Our eggs will be 159, and our frosting will be 134. Now the total of this recipe is only 479, and let me show you how I make it. All right, we're gonna start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. All right, now you're gonna cut the French bread into half inch slices. Mine are closer to an inch and you know, it'll still work, it's fine. <laughs> now I'm gonna take a pan and spray it with non-stick cooking spray. I like to use pan. That's just how I work. Then you're gonna take your bread and just do a single layer on the bottom. Now mine are a little thick cause uh, let's be honest, my knife is really bad. If you have good knives, I would love some a suggestion because by golly, it's time. It's time to get some good knives here. All right, in a little bowl, we're gonna crack five eggs. We're gonna add three fourths cup of milk. Now please don't be mad, there are some things I didn't add to the $5. So I already had vanilla, I already had cinnamon, and I already had nutmeg, so. Hopefully you have these in your house. So we have two teaspoons of vanilla, half tablespoon of cinnamon. Whoa, we won't add as much since I got a little out of control. <laughs> and then two teaspoons of nutmeg. Then we're just gonna mix this up really well, break those egg yolks. Then we're gonna pour half of the mixture onto our little French bread, French toast. That might be more than half, but that's okay. I'm gonna spread it around just a little bit. Okay, then we're just gonna add the rest of our bread on there, just going right over top. Actually, you can go a different way if you want to, but mm, I'm lazy. We're just gonna go the same way. I'm gonna cut off the butt ed edge of this. I don't want the butt on there. I know these pieces are a little smaller, but it will still work. Okay, then we're gonna take the rest of our mixture and just pour it on top. We're gonna try and cover as much as of the bread as possible. Now for my favorite part, you're gonna take about half a cup of brown sugar and we're just gonna sprinkle it on top. Okay, we're gonna use my fingers to sprinkle because it just makes my life a little easier. Here we go. Then if you want to, you can add a little bit of cinnamon too. I'm gonna add cinnamon because I love cinnamon toast. Now with this recipe, you don't have to let it sit overnight. You can just bake it as soon as you're done. Or if you want to have it overnight, that will work too. So either way, it doesn't matter. But we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. All right, our French toast bake is all done cooking. Now I'm gonna take the cream cheese frosting. Yes, I know, it's canned. I actually don't mind it. But I'm gonna stick it in the microwave for about 10 seconds or so just to get it nice and soft so we can spread it on top of our French toast. Hmm. Now the secret is pull this out of the oven, let it sit for about a minute or two. I've kind of softened up our frosting and we're just gonna put a blob of frosting on each French toast bite. This is like the good stuff. Calories don't count during holidays, right? Right. <laughs> then I'm gently, gently, because you don't want any of that brown sugar to come up, just gonna spread it across each one. It comes up a little, and that's okay. Just try your hardest. <laughs> oh my goodness, my husband is gonna be so excited for breakfast tomorrow. Now my husband is a little shy. He does not love to be on the camera, so maybe one day you'll see him, but for the most part, like some of my kids are also pretty shy, so you get to see Sarah. She's not my shy kid, or Ansley. She's not shy either. <laughs> okay, and we're just gonna let this sit and melt. The second recipe is good old sloppy joes. Now this is how we made them growing up. 
So the first thing you're gonna need is ground turkey, that's $3.58. Manwich is $1.22, and the buns are 93 cents. So in total, this is a little over $5, but the, it comes to $5.73. Now this recipe is one of my favorites because all you have to do is cook up your meat, dump in your manwich, and then serve it on buns, and you are good to go. The third recipe is our broccoli cheddar soup. So the ingredients you need for this one is whipping cream, which is 216, an onion is 50 cents, broccoli, because we're using half the bag, is 84 cents, and then of course you need some cheese, so our cheddar cheese is $1.86. So the total for that one is $5.36. So we're gonna start by pushing the saute button on the Instant Pot. First, we're gonna chop up an onion, but this is my little secret. If you haven't seen it, I get about three paper towels, get them soaking wet, and I'm just gonna put them in between me and the onion. So when I chop up the onion, I'm not gonna be dying inside. <laughs> well, my eyes won't be dying. Then, just gonna chop it on up. All right, onion is chopped. Look at my eyes, yep. They're not even watery at all. Winning! Now that we push the saute button, it's getting warm and toasty in there, so we're gonna add about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. And, sorry, there's a lot of little voices. We have some little girls over playing at our house with Sarah today. All right, now that it's nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and add the onions into it. Just mix those around. We're gonna cook them until they're nice and soft. Okay, now that we've got them all nice and softened and brown, we're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth. Now, I didn't buy chicken broth, so we're gonna do the trick I did last time and do the chicken bouillon cubes. So first I'm gonna add three cups of water into my pot. And then, just like I said, we're gonna just add three of these. So you add one of these per cup of water. And don't worry, we're gonna cook this so those will dissolve. Don't you worry. Next up, I have my broccoli. Now I cooked it for about a minute just to soften things up a little bit so it wasn't frozen. So it'd be easier to cut these giant pieces into smaller pieces. All right, once your broccoli's all chuffed up, go ahead and just put it into your Instant Pot. Then into the pot, we're just gonna add about a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Now we're just gonna cook it all up. So go ahead and put your lid on. If you have a little knob, make sure it's turned to sealing, not venting. Then we're gonna push pressure cook, and then we're just gonna cook it for about two minutes. So once you set the timer, you can just leave it and it will cook. Now when it's all done cooking, you're gonna go ahead and release the little knob to let all the pressure out. All right, once you can take the lid off because all the pressure's out, we're gonna add about a cup and a half of whipping cream. Now again, you can use whole milk if you'd like, but if you want it nice and creamy, whipping cream's where it's at. All right, after all the whipping cream is in, we're gonna come down here and push cancel, then push saute again, and we're gonna add the cheese and the hot sauce, and then we're done. I'm just gonna shred this whole block because we want the two cups. Then as I shred, I just dump in the cheese. And the last thing is hot sauce. Now the originally res original recipe called for one tablespoon, but that's kind of a lot. So we're just gonna add a, a little more than one teaspoon. You can add a tablespoon. It just depends on how hot you like your soup. Now it's just time to mix it all together. We're gonna let all that cheese get nice and melted. Now the thing is, it's still on saute. We do not want it to boil, so once it starts getting nice and hot, you can turn it off and just have it keep on warm and it'll be ready to go when it's dinner time. It's looking good. Number four is your old fashioned grilled cheese and tomato soup. So for this recipe, I found bread that was 93 cents. The cheese is 186. Your can of tomato soup is 117. And we are gonna use a little bit of butter. Our butter came to 318, but we only need a little bit. So we're gonna count that as a dollar. So our total is gonna be $4.96. Now to make life a little bit easier, we just cook the soup in the microwave. Then just quickly shred the cheese. Then on the skillet, I like to put my butter down first, the bread, the cheese, bread on top. And then add more butter and flip it. Now the fifth recipe I am sharing with you is breakfast quesadillas. 
Now what I'm picking up today is tortillas are a dollar. Cheddar cheese is 186. Our eggs are 159. And the salsa, I love dipping it in salsa, comes to $1.23. So our total for this recipe is $5.68. Okay, we're gonna first start by cracking the eggs. Now, if you haven't seen this before, this is called a crack -um. Not sponsored or anything, I just love using it. We're gonna crack all six eggs into a bowl. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. Sorry, salt is not part of it. I figure most people have salt at home. And then we're just going to crunch up the yolks and then mix this all together. In a skillet on medium heat, I'm gonna spray the bottom of my pan and then just pour in my eggs. We're gonna make some scrambled eggs. Now usually you can add a little milk to your scrambled eggs or water to your scrambled eggs. Or my dad taught me, you know what? You can just cook them just like this and it'll be just fine. All right, we are pretty much done here. Let's just pull this off. All right, next I'm just gonna shred my cheese. Usually I buy pre-shredded, but if you're trying to save money, shredding yourself, seriously, will save you quite a bit. Now, I love these for breakfast time, or I love them for dinner time, or lunch. You know, you can have eggs any time, I swear. So, we're gonna put our cheese down first on our tortillas. So I'm guessing this will make about three. You can really stretch out your eggs, you can make four. Okay, so next we're gonna add some eggs. I'm just gonna try and spread them out the best that we can. Oopa. And I'm gonna put a tortilla right on top of here. Let that cook, cook it for a bit. All right, they've been on for about two minutes. We're just gonna flip them real quick. There we go, that was a good flip. <laughs> Try this one. Nice. All right, these are done. So we're just gonna pull them right off. All right, part of the $5 is the salsa. So we're gonna just pour that into a bowl and then Dip in mm, our breakfast quesadillas. Now recipe number six is our sausage and sweet potatoes. Right now our sweet potatoes are about 168 and our sausage comes to $3.48. We're a little over the $5, but we're close. So this total comes to $5.16. First, I'm just going to peel my sweet potatoes. If you guys didn't know that a peeler did this, I just recently found out and it's my favorite thing now. Okay, so with this sweet potato, oh, those are big potatoes. We're gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces. The smaller that they are, the faster they will cook. So I like to do pretty small pieces if you can see here. It's pretty little. Then I'm just gonna dump all of the sweet potatoes onto the sheet pan so I can use this to cut up all of the sausage. We're just gonna cut that in half so I can cut one section at a time. And with the sausage, I just like to cut little pieces too, just because you don't want a huge sausage bite with your sweet potatoes. All right, sausage is done. Let's put it in with the sweet potatoes. Now we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, just have vegetable oil, that works too. Then we're just gonna mix this all together just so it's coated with the oil so when we put the seasoning on, it will stick onto all the pieces. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. You can do salt and pepper too if you want. I just love garlic salt with sausage and sweet potatoes. So kind of just put that on there. You can always add more when it's done cooking too. <laughs> but right now, this will work. And then you're just gonna mix it all together again. Okay, then we're just gonna spread this out. We're gonna cook it at 400 degrees, I don't know, for about 20, 25 minutes. We really just are cooking it till the sweet potatoes are cooked all the way through. So we'll just keep checking those. All right, it is all done, ready to go. That looks so good and smells so good. Number seven is our English muffin bagel pizzas. I love making this in the air fryer. So all you need for this recipe is our pizza sauce, which is $1.14. Muffins come to $1.98. And our cheese, which is $1.86. First, you're just gonna grate the trees. I'm gonna cook these in the air fryer. So we have our English muffins, our pizza sauce, and our cheese on top. Now whether you use this or an oven, you just cook it until the cheese is melted and it's a little crispy. All right, these cooked about three minutes and they are ready to eat. Number eight is one that I forget a lot is baked potatoes. For this recipe, I'm grabbing potatoes, which come to $2.08. Sour cream is $1.16 and cheese is 1.86. 
So in total it is $5.10. Now my favorite way to cook potatoes is in the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna put about six potatoes in here. You can put as many as you want. You need at least one cup of water. We're gonna put the lid on. Then we're gonna push pressure cook. Now these are gonna cook for about 15 minutes because they're kind of small. So once we set it, we can just walk away. Potatoes are done. Let's pull them out. Usually it'd be more gentle to keep the skin on, but you know. All right, then I like to serve my potatoes cut in half. Then I just like to add a little bit of sour cream and a little bit of cheese. The next recipe is called Brinner, breakfast for dinner. We're gonna make some delicious pancakes, some syrup, and some eggs. Our box of pancake mix is 168, and this will make a lot of pancakes. Then we're gonna have a bottle of syrup, comes to 148. Our eggs are $1.59. So in total, your Brenner dinner comes to $4.75. Now I don't know about you, but breakfast for dinner is one of my favorite things to make as a mom because it's quick, easy, and cheap. Not a bad dinner and it will feed your whole family. Now number 10 is one that I make when I have nothing else in the house and this is spaghetti. Now with this recipe, I don't just love plain spaghetti. We also got a loaf of French bread, which still will stay under the $5. So our sauce is $1.40, our noodles come to $1.58, and the bread is just a dollar. So in total, this comes to $3.98. Now, really quick, if you haven't figured out how to cook spaghetti in the Instant Pot, this is my favorite way. I love cooking noodles in the pot. So I like to break them in half. They'll cook a whole lot easier. And then we'll add the liquid. So the rule of thumb when you cook noodles in the Instant Pot is you just wanna make sure that the water is covering all the noodles. You don't want crunchy noodles. Now the lid is gonna go on. If you have a little knob, make sure it's on sealing, not venting. Then pressure cook and all the noodles cook for four minutes. Noodles are done cooking. They look good. I'm just gonna pull them right out here. Then I just heat it up my spaghetti sauce, make it all nice and just ready to go. Well guys, if money's tight, hopefully this will help you out just a little bit. Now if you want more $5 dinners, I have plenty for you right up there. All right guys, I'll see you later, bye.